Okay, let's look at adding our rational expressions. Remember, these expressions are very similar to our fractions. And so you'll see these examples um, that you're given, we will be adding to. Remember, remember, I know none of us really liked fractions <laughs> in elementary school, so you probably put all of that out of your brain, but we need to bring it all back. So our fractions, remember when we had like 1, 6 plus 2, 6. And we wanted to add those. Remember what we had to do is we had to make sure that these bottom numbers or these denominators are the same. In this case, they're the same. So all I do is I add those top two numbers over that same bottom number. And so that would be 3, 6. And then I reduce this, right? This can be reduced to 1 half. So same denominator, then we just add the top two top numbers, and then we simplify or reduce our fraction. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing here, but what happened when they weren't the same denominator. So these now are not the same. We have to make them the same, right? So we have to multiply one or both of them by something to make the bottom numbers the same. And so you have to look at um, what would make them the same. So what could we multiply by one or both of them to make them the same? Well, I know that 2 times 5 would give me 10. So I can make them both base, with 10 in the denominator by multiplying this by 2. But if I multiply the bottom part by 2, I've got to multiply the top by 2. In doing this, we're keeping the number the same. We're just changing um, how it looks. So you have to make sure whatever you multiply that bottom number to get to the, be the same as the other one, you have to multiply the top. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 5 is 10. So now we've got the same denominator. And we can do these same steps. We can add the top two, four plus one is five, and then simplify, again, that's one half. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna rewrite using a common denominator. And then we are going to combine or add the numerators, keeping the same common denominator. Um, let me, I'm gonna, we're gonna combine like terms. And then finally, you do need to simplify. Make sure you simplify. So again, we're going to go back to um, those notes and those steps to simplify. All right. This first example. Remember, the first thing you want to do is make sure that we've got a common denominator. Our denominators are common. So I'm just going to 13x plus 5x over 4x squared. Remember, like terms are ones that have the same variable with the same exponent. So these both are x's, which meaning they're x to the 1. So they have the same variable with the same exponent. So I can add these numbers in front. 13 plus 5 is 18x, and that's over 4x squared. That last step, we're going to simplify this 18 over 4 is going to simplify to 9 over 2. And we've got 2x on bottom, 1x on top. That leaves me with 1x on bottom. 
So my final answer, this plus this equals 9 over 2x. Okay? Let's look at this one. First step, do they have a common denominator? Yep, same, same. So let's add that top. We've got x squared plus 8x plus 2x plus 21 all over x squared minus 9. Combine like terms. We've only got 1x squared, so that doesn't combine with anything. We got 2x's, so 8 plus 2 is 10x plus 21 all over x squared minus 9. Finally, we want to simplify. So if I factor this top, that gives me x plus 7, x plus 3. And you can use the same calculator uh, method of factoring. Um, when I factor x squared minus 9, that's a perfect square factor. So x minus 3, x plus 3. And then remember, I can eliminate... So this is x plus 7, x minus 3. So these two added together give me x plus 7 over x minus 3. All right, let's look at an example here. They don't have common denominators. So we have to make them be common denominators just like we did here. Okay? It's no different just because they've got... Um, binomials in it. So, one of the easiest ways to do this, especially if they are very different like this, is if I multiply this bottom by this one and I multiply this bottom by this one, then they will be the same. So, I'm going to multiply this 5 over x plus 1 by x minus 7 over x minus 7. And this other one, I'm going to multiply by x plus 1 over x plus 1. So on top, I'm going to say 5 times x minus 7. And that's going to be over x minus 7, x plus 1. Plus 8 times x plus 1 over x minus 7, x plus 1. Now we've got the same thing in our denominators. Let's go ahead and distribute. And then we'll combine like terms on top. So we've got 5x minus 35 plus 8x plus 8. That's going to be all over x minus 7 over x plus 1. Okay, let's combine like terms. We've got 5x and 8x, that is 13x. Negative 35 plus 8 is negative 27. x minus 7, x plus 1. This cannot be factored any further or reduced or simplified. We are done. Okay, same thing. These are different denominators, so we got to get them to be the same. Same thing. I'm going to multiply this by this denominator and this one by this denominator. So that's going to give me, uh, let's go ahead and put x squared on top because x times x is x squared. And that's going to give me 4x minus 12. I'm just, I just went ahead and distributed. And on bottom, it's going to be x times x minus 3. So I went ahead and distributed and combined my like terms. There's no like terms to combine. So this is what this would be added together. We do need to simplify. So if I factor up that top part, we've got x plus 6 x minus 2 over x, x minus 3. Nothing can be simplified. There's nothing that is like um, to be crossed out. So we are actually done. You can give me either one of these answers. Okay? So biggest thing is to make sure that the denominators are the same. They're not the same. 
you have to make them the same. And then you add the top, combine like terms, simplify by factoring and eliminating um, common factors.